Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 29th, 2021. So my goodness, yesterday we had quite a number of data points uh, moving the market around. The Fed, as you probably heard, has decided they're going to hold off on any tapering talk wanting to see more data. So we're gonna continue the $120 billion of new money printing every month. And they kept the interest rates at zero, or near zero, I should say. So all is copacetic there. And then we had earnings from Facebook last night. Facebook had a blowout earnings report. Um, but then they guided lower, suggesting that they see um, a little bit of um, slower growth ahead. So we're a little bit lower here this morning on that. Today we have just a massive amount of data to deal with. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, and let's take a look at some of these um, charts and see if we can decide how we might want to approach the market for today in the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who supports this kind of content. Hopefully you see that there's a difference here. No hype, no prediction, any of those kind of things. We just look at the technicals of the charts, the price action of the charts, and see if we can figure out what makes sense for us today. Let's take a look here at the diamonds. If we were to um, look this over closely, we've got a pretty darn bullish pattern here. Notice that we pushed up through this area right here and we're trying to hold some price support through this area in the chart. So gotta call this bullish. Um, the bulls are in control here. And even though they left behind a bearish engulfing candle, yesterday that really is only going to matter if it were to follow through with a bearish candle today and right now the pre-market pump is trying to reverse that completely and so we'll want to be watching this closely this morning for that potential of this price resistance right in here we'll want to watch that as we push up there and approach that price resistance to see if we can actually push on through. Another failure, failure up there could be a little bit problematic, but right now with the, the frenzy of buying that's going on, it doesn't seem to matter. Um, um, everything is bullish all the time. Um, just buy anything, it doesn't really matter what the price. Now, there will be a day when that changes, and when it changes, I suspect it's going to be painful. The longer we continue to extend, the longer we ignore some of these um, clues in the market of, um, of inflation, of uh, claims, of all these different issues that we've kind of been able to ignore. Um, earnings are giving us that ability to ignore those right now after these are over it will be interesting to see what happens however saying that there's no reason to believe at this point that we can't push on higher so stay with the trend but just be really careful not to think the market is never going to fall because i do believe it will and i believe it'll be painful when it does let's take a look at our um, SPY. Now SPY also very, very bullish pattern. There's no way you can look at this chart and not see bullishness. We're holding price support in here and we are really within striking distance of new record highs in the market. So about all we have to do here is just kind of keep an eye on this resistance point up here, make sure that we can push on through and not fail. And if we push back a little bit, um, if we find a reason to uh, uh, find a few sellers, just as long as we hold this support, I don't think there's too much to worry about here. SPY, very strong, showing lots of bullishness and certainly um, has that opportunity to continue to, to extend to the upside. So stay with that upside trend. Um, let's keep the party going as long as it, it continues. Let's take a look at the QQQ. Now the QQQ has maybe a little tiny bit more work to do and Facebook 
um, pulling back this morning may um, provide, provide a little bit of a stumbling block here on this, but you still have to give this up to the bulls. Uh, the bulls are holding in here. We had a pretty ugly candle here just a couple of days ago, but they completely reversed that in the afternoon. And we're just seeing th that continued surge into stocks. Even when we get um, kind of uh, guiding lower in some of these um, earnings reports, we have an initial sell-off and then we just buy it right back. So watch that closely. As long as we hold this price support, I think we're in pretty good shape here. Um, this is definitely a bullish pattern, but we will want to watch this resistance level up here um, as we progress through these earnings. Now, keep in mind, we have another big earnings report this afternoon. That's going to be Amazon. Uh, keep a close eye on that. And we could just linger around up here. We've been pushing all stocks up into in, with, in anticipation of those earnings. And there's no reason to believe that we won't continue to do that with Amazon today. So that certainly could um, push right on through to the upside. So again, stay with the trend unless we start to see the those clues of trend failing and then let's take a look at IWM now IWM had a really good bounce back yesterday strong bounce back and I'm actually holding this short so I'm a little bit disappointed in seeing how strongly um, this is bouncing back and gapping up here this morning but again I'm gonna stick with that short um, at least at this point my plan um, on this is to hold this until um, we, if unless we were to cross back above that 50-day moving average, um, and the certain the possibility certainly is there, but we had just have a tremendous amount of price congestion in here, so I'm gonna stick with that trade, although it is causing a little bit of pain at the moment. Um, uh, you know, no one wins all trades, right? So um, sticking with that thought on this, but IWM still has that weakness in it that we'll want to be paying attention to um, overall. Um, let's take a look and perhaps it, it could just catch up with the rest of the markets here too. So um, uh, we do have to consider that maybe it's just in catch up mode. Then let's take a look at our uh, T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. Now, interestingly enough yesterday, we struggled here for quite a while to pick up. It was only after that FOMC meeting we started to pick up a little bit here. Now what this is indicating is that although we were picking up, a good deal of stocks are still kind of languishing in a sideways move or um, even moving a little bit south. So watch that closely. Now T2122 doesn't tell us which direction the market's going to go. What it tells us is where those pressure points are if we're overbought or oversold. So we we have we certainly have an upside opportunity here and we're pushing in the pre-market futures trying to move up through that um, watch that up here as we approach those resistance levels in the chart if we happen to find some reason to stumble remember we have a GDP and jobless claims this morning if we were to stumble we also have a pretty big open door to the downside um, if um, those sellers come back in so just keep a close eye on that. Now, if we take a look at our T2101, this also gives me just a little bit of concern that um, our market breadth, as we push back up, we cannot seem to hold on to breadth. Um, um, our, our, our volumes begin to drop, uh, things like that, as we push to the upside and market breadth continues to languish here. Now, we, we're we stuck underneath this little resistance level in the chart, and we're struggling along here, and we have this much, much bigger downtrend here, and we are so far away. I mean, if I were to do a comparison chart um, with um, the QQQ, the SPY, and the diamonds, just notice how big these divergences are in that market breadth. Um, it's phenomenal. Now, how long that can continue, I don't know. I'd love to see a little bit more breadth coming in if we're gonna continue to push to the upside. So watch that closely. And then let's take a look at our VIX. Now, our VIX is just a tiny little bit 
um, a, a concern because as we continue to push higher, we're really not seeing a whole lot of pullback here in the VIX. Notice that we're still holding this little upside trend. Now, albeit, I have to admit, we're holding above our 50-day moving average. We're still below our 200-day moving average. Our bigger downtrend here in the chart continues to hold. So no, no big worries here at all. But just that little bit of hint that we should be, if we're pushing to new record highs or coming close to that, we should be seeing that VIX really fall and it's not happening. So watch that closely, holding up here around an 18 handle. Now I don't think that's gonna become too much of a problem unless we break back through this area up here. If we break through this price resistance in that chart and hold up here, that could be a little bit of a problem but we just have to kind of watch that upside little move here, this wedge pattern. We really need to see that fear starting to drop a little bit more if we're gonna push through to new records. So just kind of keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at our economic um, calendar for today. Boy, our economic calendar's got a couple of things that we wanna pay attention to this morning. Um, before the market opens, we're gonna hear from a GDP now. The GDP consensus is expecting 8% GDP. That is a huge jump in GDP. It's amazing we can continue to say that there is no inflation. Um, now, we'll have to watch that pretty closely. If we come in around the consensus area, we're probably gonna be okay. If we were to come in well above that, that could be a problem um, in suggesting that the economy is heating up a lot more than uh, the Fed would like to see and could bring out some bears. And of course, if we miss that estimate quite a bit, there is also that possibility that there could be some complications with that. So watch that close. And then we've got jobless claims. Jobless claims are expecting a decline this morning um, and they continuously um, are showing us a decline in claims but remember last week it actually jumped a little higher so i don't think we're going to have any problem unless we follow through and miss again on that jobless claims um, watch that carefully today um, ahead we've got some pending home sales and um, natural gas report and a fed balance sheet who cares we're over eight trillion dollars in in fed debt uh, but nobody cares so um, let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar our earnings calendar is absolutely huge today we have about 230 companies on the calendar today reporting a lot of them have already reported there's a lot of data flying around we're wading through tons and tons of earnings data um, in this market this week. And um, some of the notables, um, I don't have time to cover even a portion of the notables for today, but you're going to want to maybe go back to the um, uh, blog this morning. If you take a look uh, just below the title of the video, there's a link that'll take you back to the morning blog and you can pick up the full list of notables. Um, I already mentioned Amazon will be reporting after the bell today. Keep a close eye on that. Um, it's been up here in an interesting pattern where we had a little bit of a lower high showing up in that chart, but we're still holding on to this trend. So it still has that uh, very real possibility we could pop on through with a good earnings report to the upside. However, if it were to fail here, that could be a critical problem for the NASDAQ. So watch that close. Um, we Other reports we're going to hear from Altria today. Uh, keep an eye on that. We're going to be hearing from um, Bud. Oh, looks like Bud's disappointed here this morning with a big, big whopping loss. Um, oh, I don't know if it was a loss, but um, a reaction to the earnings report um, sending that stock lower. We're going to hear from Deckers um, today. Keep an eye on that. We've got First Solar. Um, that we'll be reporting today. Looks like they're trying to push a little bit higher this morning. Um, we're gonna hear from Hershey. 
Um, Hershey's been moving up, but running into a little bit of a problem here on that earnings report. Watch that closely. Just a little resting pullback in here. We're going to hear from TAP. And, uh, TAP looks like it's moving to the upside here this morning, looking good. So quite a few reports here today. Keep a close eye on those. There could be a lot of moving around as we progress through all of these reports and then into the afternoon. Um, there um, certainly is that possibility that we could have that gap up or gap down tomorrow based on how um, we report uh, this afternoon. So watch those closely and do make sure you click that link below the title of the video to check all of those notables out if you have an interest in that. Let's take a look at um, our stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I really wanna say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. The channel continues to grow, we're kind of slow growing, but um, all of the engagement um, in the videos helps a ton. So if you click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps us out the algorithms will show the video to more folks and we have that ability to continue to grow the channel thank you so much to everyone who does do that i truly appreciate it also for anyone who um, is willing to click that share button and share the link for this video out on your social media feed it helps us reach more folks and I want to say thanks to everyone who does take the time to do that. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. You guys, um, your kindness your, uh, truly humbles me every day as I go through the comments and answer those comments. Thank you so much um, for all the support of the effort of putting these videos out every day. It does take an awful lot of work, but thank you so much for um, supporting that. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look. Um, at some stock setting up and please realize that as we do that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you have to make sure and do your own due diligence in these trades now yesterday I saw um, quite a little bit of strength continuing in um, in retail stocks take a look at like dollar general dollar general was continuing to move up it's looking a little bit lower here this morning but retail has been unbelievably strong in these really uh, beautiful um, runs to the upside I mean just really really strong these could continue even with the pullback in here these could easily continue the way things are looking if you take a look at Costco um, Costco um, resting in here in a little consolidating pattern and this is setting up for more potential upside notice that we could engage that trend right there here very very soon and push on through to the upside Costco looking very very strong um, seeing a target finally pulling back a little bit but target has just been in this amazing upside run just unbelievably bullish and you can see um, pulling back here into some to some price support trend support look for that next opportunity for that to perhaps move on higher looking very very good let's take a look at a stock um, ILMN ILMN I identified yesterday as a potential trade coming along notice this hold of price support in here we're pushing um, sideways out here toward this trend. Watch for that opportunity. We have blue skies above here. There is, I shouldn't say that, there is a little teeny tiny resistance right here um, in that chart. But looking very, very good uh, for a potential upside move. Keep an eye on that. Uh, DKNG, DKNG also looking good yesterday. We noticed this one, um, this nice break of this downtrend. We pushed through, held in here, proved it, buyer stepped up, and it looks like we're gonna follow through to the upside here on DKNG. Keep a close eye on that, looking pretty darn good um, overall. You might wanna keep an eye on some of these drug makers, really strong moves in some of those yesterday. Uh, Pfizer, 
Pfizer surging to the upside. Now, I think this needs a rest or a pullback before uh, considering a buy in this. But notice that we broke through some um, high resistance here in the chart. So a rest or pullback that holds above this um, little support area, there is that opportunity that we could continue on higher in Pfizer. Keep a close eye on that. As you guys know, I've been uh, mentioning Peloton and Peloton continues to struggle against a price resistance. I'm going to show you my drawings here. Price resistance here in this chart. We're struggling against it, but notice we're holding this higher low. And I think what we could be seeing is a little bit of pressure beginning to build here on this chart and that opportunity that we may push on through here eventually. We still run that risk, of course, that that resistance will win out and we push down through here. But right now, there seems to be a pretty good um, pushback in some of these stocks that did really well in, during COVID with the, the rising numbers that we're seeing and masking requirements happening again. So keeping keep a close eye here on Peloton. Um, it may have that opportunity to move higher. Take a look at pins. This is another stock that um, that did real, whoops. Um, another stock that did really, really well during COVID. And notice that um, pushing back up here, a little bit of upside of trend. We push through resistance. We're holding that as support. This may have to search around in here a little bit more for that trend before it goes but keep an eye on that opportunity. We do wanna also recognize that there is uh, this bigger downtrend that it still has to beat. So we may require that extra rest in here, kind of some backing and filling to build enough energy to pop through, but keep a close eye on that. Also noticed Etsy yesterday. Um, Etsy was trying to get going right here there's that higher low where we've kind of bested uh, that downtrend or holding support levels in here um, watch this support level right through here as we hold we tried to push down but grabbed on uh, the bulls grabbed onto that pushing it back up so watch that right in here now we do have our trend um, this stupid thing continues to change these tools on me I apologize um, we do have this trend that we'll want to pay attention to and as you can see may have a little bit more backing and filling here to do before it moves on through but it is looking pretty good another chart in that same sector would be a uh, chewy and Chewy's had a nice day, a nice day yesterday, breaking through this price resistance in the chart. Notice this bigger um, head and shoulders, inverted head and shoulders pattern that's formed here on Chewy. So breaking through that neckline up here, that possibility that Chewy could move on higher and looks pretty good in here. So watch that carefully for that potential upside move. A few other places that you might want to look at some of these defensive sector stocks. Now, stock like Coca-Cola had a little bit of a resting pattern here the last couple of days, but notice that upside opportunity in here. We've broken through resistance, um, holding it as support, and maybe a challenge up here into this resistance level is what we're looking at here soon. So keep an eye on Pep, um, Coca-Cola, uh, keep an eye on PepsiCo. PepsiCo's also in this nice little upside trend, working good, maybe engaging that trend here soon, holding on to support, more upside potential. Um, Monster, Monster Beverage had a big pop up on its, um, um, the other day, uh, it wasn't earnings reports because we've got earnings coming on 8.3, really popped up strong, pulling back into this gap. So watch that carefully. If that can hold some price support, hold on to this trend, there is that possibility this turns back around and comes back up. So keep an eye on that. A couple other defensives uh, that you might want to be keeping an eye on, like Philip Morris. Philip Morris pushing up here toward these resistance highs, trying to move on through. Keep an eye on that if that can get going. Um, MDLZ, Mondelez. Now Mondelez had a really rough day yesterday, pulling back hard. So this may be out of the mix. Uh, this one may have to fall off the list. But if it 
um, gains that support and holds right in here there may be that opportunity so keep a close eye on that um, and last but not least I'm going to mention utilities um, utilities pushing to the upside here trying to hold on to this upside trend keep a close eye on that there's a little bit of energy um, showing up here in those utilities so watch those closely again that's more of a safety play if the market starts getting nervous so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading I want to wish you great results thank you so much for being here thank you so much for all everyone who clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving those comments I truly appreciate it I wish you great success today and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning have a good one everyone